In this video, we will be looking at how to set up and prepare for the Umbraco Masterclass with WooCommerce. My name is Morten, and I will be your designated guide today. It is assumed that you have already set up a clean WooCommerce and Umbraco installation with Avenue Clothing on it. If this is not the case, check out the video in the description below and revisit this once you are set up. It is also assumed that you have downloaded the WooCommerce for Umbraco Masterclass solution along with the handouts that are used for the training. Otherwise, pause the video and do that now. You can find the proper links in the description below. Please remember that the steps outlined in this video is also present in the handouts, so you can always consult with the handouts as well. Now open the Masterclass solution provider and let's give it a go. Here we have the WooCommerce for Umbraco Masterclass Visual Studio solution that was provided when you signed up for this training. In this solution here we have all the different assets we're going to use in order to build uh, the web shop that we're going to build from scratch in this training course. It consists of a few projects, the one here called my WooCommerce app that's business logic is where we will place WooCommerce extensions once we are going to build uh, those. Next we have the my WooCommerce app that integration which is basically a console application that we can run WooCommerce on. We're also going to take a look at that in a, a later part of the training. And here we have the last one, my WooCommerce app that website. This is a website project where we will place all the different assets used to build the web shop. It consists of a few MVC controllers that we're going to hook up with Umbraco. And then it contains markup, styling and JavaScript that makes the uh, website run uh, with the beautiful bells and whistles. So in here we will place all the code that we're going to deploy to our website. This happens by using a deploy script that are shipped along with this solution here. We can find it under the deploy local.ps1 in the tools folder here in the Visual Studio solution. We're going to do one very simple little thing. We're going to open up a explorer and then we're going to find the website that runs Avenue Clothing and our clean Umbraco and WooCommerce installation. The root of the website can be found on my computer at inetpub u6 website. This is where webconfig is placed. We're going to use this path here to deploy the different assets. So I'm gonna copy this path here and put it into my website root. Once this is done and my Visual Studio solution builds, it will take all the assets found under the project here and push them over to my website root. Then I can start leveraging those inside my own Braco installation. So now that I have modified this, I will build my solution. And hopefully what we should see is that the website will now be containing all the assets directly coming from our Visual Studio solution. So now I can go back into my Umbraco website. Log into the backend. And what I will do now is that I will set up a complete new blank uh, page inside Umbraco. We already have Avenue Clothing running here on the root of my website, but we're going to change this just a little bit. The first thing that I will do is that I will go into settings and inside settings I can now create a bunch of new document types. I will create one for each of the document types uh, I will use in the website where one document type will be equals to one new page. I will select document type without a template and then I need to use naming convention in order to have Umbraco wire up the document types together with the MVC controllers that we have under the, our project. 
So under the controllers folder of my website project, I have something called masterclass home controller. So I will create a new document type called master class home, which will serve as the document type used for the front end and for the front page of our new site. We're going to save it. And there's a bunch of different things that we can set on the document types. One of them being, yes, I want to allow this document type as a root document type. meaning that I can now right click on content, click create and select masterclass home. I need to give my new uh, page here a name. So let's use home and click save. What we should see now is that I can now still access Avenue clothing on the home page here but I should also be able to access the newly created page on the link specified by our bracket, which is slash home. So let's try that. And what we can see now is that U6 slash home gives us a lovely looking template that says hello masterclass. It has a link to home and a link to our basket. This means that we're actually now ready to start developing the first e-commerce related uh, stuff in this training course here. Notice that we have just used Umbraco to set up a new page using nothing but the techniques that you're already familiar with when you develop Umbraco uh, websites. It's MVC and it's leveraging the components and the framework that Umbraco exposes together with their CMS. So building a web shop with WooCommerce will partly be working with Umbraco and partly be working with WooCommerce. So this should be very familiar to you already. So hopefully in the next couple of videos, you will get a thorough and good introduction to what Umbraco and WooCommerce offers in combination. Congratulations, you're now ready to begin the WooCommerce for Umbraco Masterclass. Beginning in the next video, we will take a look at the first concepts in what WooCommerce is and what the platform offers. You can continue the training at your earliest convenience. Thank you for watching and see you very soon.